Breaking news in college basketball. Arkansas has announced John Calipari as their next head coach. Our Matt Norlander reported on Sunday that Coach Cal and Arkansas were nearing an agreement. That agreement is now completed. It is a five-year deal worth at least $35 million. It comes a day after Calipari released a video on social media in which he said goodbye to Kentucky, saying the program needed a new voice. He spent 15 seasons there in Lexington, winning over 400 games, making four Final Four appearances, and winning one national championship. We now bring in the man who's been on top of it the entire way, Mr. Norlander. First off, your thoughts on seeing the terms of this agreement for Coach Cow to head to Arkansas. Uh, well, these were the terms that uh, previously confirmed five years, uh, seven million. There's actually a, a million dollar signing bonus as well for John Calipari to do this. And we are officially on the board here. The contract will run to uh to april of 2029 and it has finally officially happened was told it took this long because calipari wanted to sign a long form contract agreement normally you want a little peek behind the scenes when coaches do this they sign what's known as a memorandum of understanding or a term sheet which is a short form uh signature agreement to get to the long form situation it was told calipari wanted to go full bore with the long form deal and so that's why this became official on wednesday even though verbally both sides were there by Sunday night. Calipari goes to Arkansas, starts his career anew. Uh, he will be calling the pigs before too long. That it will certainly be a sight to see when that happens, remaining in the SEC and obviously flipping the college basketball world upside down in the process because now you have arguably the best job in the, mar uh, in the sport on the market here um, in an official capacity uh, over the past 24 hours when Cal announced he was leaving Kentucky in a message to BBN on Tuesday late afternoon and Arkansas fills its vacancy with the best possible candidate it could have imagined succeeding Eric Musselman. We wait and see though if Calipari can actually find anywhere near the success he had in his first day eight years at Kentucky uh, that uh, that Musselman was having for a decent portion of his career at Arkansas. Obviously he took them to two Elite Eights and a Sweet 16 in three of his five seasons there. What do you think should be the first order of business for Coach Cal to get Arkansas to a level where he hopes them to be? Well, the first order of business will truly be, and Calipari has already had conversations, no doubt about it, with current assistants at Kentucky and potential uh, potential new guys on his staff. They will be building the staff. That's going to be the biggest thing, is, is who is Calipari going to bring in? How much of what he's going to do is going to remain the formula he had at Kentucky versus adapting in a new spot and changing some of his approach. Uh, that will be the first order of business. Will he bring, you know, the likes of uh, Chuck Martin with him or Chin Coleman or anyone else? And who decides to stay behind in Lexington or go elsewhere in addition to having other, you know, long-standing contacts? You know, Bruiser Flint obviously is another big name that was with him at Kentucky. I think he'll bring some, but there will be an opportunity for him to start his philosophy anew and try things. And then obviously is going to be how he roster builds uh, I was told previously that um, a main point of uh, uh, of his bargaining was that he's got this highly rated class that's supposed to go to Kentucky, and now he's going to Arkansas, bring that class with him to Arkansas. We'll see if all those players truly want to switch from going to Kentucky to play for Arkansas. They're committing to the coach, and you got to figure most of them are going, and then they dive right into the portal. Um, it's also important to know that I had a source tell me on Tuesday I don't know if this has really been put out there yet. I'm going to read the I'm going to read the text message exactly here. Uh, a source told me Tuesday that the ongoing uh, arrangement with Arkansas is that they can rally six million dollars in name, image, and likeness resources for Arkansas, and that is significantly more. Believe it or not, it's true though. It's significantly more than Kentucky was prepared to uh, to have in the bank for Calipari this upcoming season at Kentucky. Which is not to say Kentucky was hurting for money. It obviously wasn't, but um, having having that much uh, having north of five million or so for Arkansas uh, is certainly interesting. I also was told that Kentucky in, in getting a new coach is, is now willing to go five to six million overall for its NIL. So what we will have here is an NIL uh, war chest race between Arkansas, and Kentucky within the SEC and nationally is certainly going to get interesting in the portal over the next few weeks. The roster for Arkansas, do you think it's more important for Coach Cal right now to try to just build through the traditional recruiting standpoint and bring guys in, or should he hop in the portal and try to bring over the guys who might be headed to Kentucky or who just might be there in the landscape in general right now? It's Well, 
you start at a new place, figure out how you what, how you want to do things. You want to obviously get the best players, but Calipari has gotten a lot of the best players before, and then it's for one reason or another, it's faltered on him, and some of that is is on his style. Some of it, frankly, uh, is just you know random random bad luck as well. Uh, but you know, random bad luck isolated, it's random bad luck over a course of many many years. And we've seen what Cal Calipari and Kentucky have failed to do in March. Then you've got a serious pattern there. So. Um, given his coaching style and what he's done, and, you know, he had the best three-point shooting team in the country heading into the tournament uh, this past season. Uh, can he continue to bring in shooters, proven shooters, in addition to high-level NBA talent? And, yes, utilize the portal, but for the right reasons. This is the other thing that any coach that, that works in this will tell you. It's Yes, having a big NIL budget means a lot, Um but it is it is beyond like what you're gonna pay players. Like it's 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 got to be about having the right combination, the right chemistry, and and having all these factors work together. So there's no guarantee. Like this is a uh, let me be clear on this. This is a wonderful hire for Arkansas. We are finally here. He's you know it's still uh, as I look at this graphic, it still looks weird. I mean <laughs> it is weird to see John Calipari's face behind an Arkansas Razorback logo, but we're here. There's no guarantee he's going to work there. He's got he's got a lot to prove. Maybe a change of scenery will motivate him and get his competitive juices flowing in a renewed sense in a way that he hasn't felt in six, seven, ten years. I don't know. I, I wait to see on that, but um, but there's no guarantee. That's all. He's on the 15th or 16th hole of his career, and it would certainly be a wonderful thing for college basketball if we looked up and Calipari was actually killing it at Arkansas. Uh, that would be uh, that'd be quite the fun plot twist, but. Again, got to actually see it happen, and Arkansas fans will be holding him to. They're going to hold him to the same standard they held Eric Musselman. Uh, you know, Arkansas fans weren't uh, weren't massively disappointed in Musselman leaving for USC after just one down season. Now, now some of them wanted Mus to stay, but but some of them were like, "Hey, man, if he's looking around the past couple of years for a new job, then just go ahead and, and just leave." Calipari getting there is uh, is new energy, it's new life, but. He can't be missing the tournament in year one, year two, and thinking that they're still going to be uh, happy that he decided to, to head over to Fayetteville. They're going to expect the same kind of success that Calipari had, and again, in his first eight, nine seasons in Lexington. And that means, you know, first place finishes in the conference, conference tournament championships, one, two, three seeds in the tournament, and deep runs, elite eight, final four or better for the Razorback. Yeah, deep runs to the final four. Coach Cal and Rick Pitino are the only coaches who have taken three different schools to the final four. No one's ever taken four schools there. Can Coach Cal take Arkansas to the final four at some point during his tenure? He can. Uh, if you ask me to say right now, yes or no, will, will John Calipari ever take Arkansas to a final four? I mean, it's hard to get there. I would lean no. He hasn't made the final four since 2015. Of course, he can do it. Uh, it's going to matter on the staff and the players and the circumstances that they get. But I would lean, it's more likely than not that he would not get there. But I won't be surprised if he does. But it's hard to make a Final Four. I think the bigger question uh, is to ask is, can John Calipari have Arkansas be a program that matters and is operating near the top of the sport more years than not while he is there? Whether he's there for four years, five years, six years, or seven years? Can he do that? If he can do that, it's a job well done. Because you can, again, let's say he gets a two seed three years in a row, but they lose in the Elite Eight all three years. You never made a Final Four, but you're still a two seed, and you would have lived up to seed expectations. So uh, keep that in mind. And I do believe that Arkansas will be a factor nationally and will be relevant, and we will see John Calipari uh, continue to have real glory in the SEC and at that school. Um, I, that I think will happen. Whether or not he can, he can absolutely become, you know, the leader of a of a top five job, top five operating outfit in college basketball. That I've got to wait and see on. The school he's leaving, of course, is very relevant in the college basketball landscape because you look at Kentucky, who now needs a head coach, and we know it likely won't be Nate Oates, it won't be Dan Hurley, it won't be Billy Donovan. So where do the Wildcats look? Well, the search starts in earnest uh, on Wednesday. Sources told me Kentucky will hold Zoom interviews on Wednesday and Thursday. Um, Scott Drew is a name that is out there heavy uh, and that Kentucky is pursuing. Uh, there are other names, but I was told the primary list is only, you know, three, four names deep here. So we wait and see. Billy Donovan, by the way, he had media availability uh, with, with the media on Tuesday night. 
and said he hadn't had any contact with them. There was a, a little bit of wordplay. I'm not saying Billy Donovan is like likely to go to Kentucky or he will. Uh, it's been expressed to me that that's not very likely. But he did not say I'm not interested in going to Kentucky. And he did. And he said I have not had contact. Obviously, Billy Donovan has representation. Kentucky knows how to find his agent and see if there might be any possible way of, uh, of making contact there. So uh, he just stopped short. I couldn't help but notice he stopped short of outright saying I won't I won't be coaching at Kentucky there. Uh, we wait and see on that. The Bulls continue to play for another week and a half, depending on where they land in this playoff race overall. Um, can't help but wonder as we go down the list, will Sean Miller uh, get a look? Will Rick Pitino get a look? Uh, but Kentucky is on the move here and trying to uh, to move quickly. But um, barring, and this is a hypothetical that I'm just throwing out. This isn't uh, what necessarily I expect. But barring, say, they talk to Scott Drew on Wednesday, things really go, they hit it off, and there's actual genuine interest on both sides, and they turn it around quickly and get it done in the next 12 hours. I just, I don't see that as a likely uh, scenario, even if Scott Drew is ultimately winding up being the name, if he is. Um, hard to see how this gets done probably before Friday at the earliest. We will wait and see who ends up being the guy that Kentucky taps to be their next head coach. Matt Norland are always on it every step of the way. We appreciate you for your time. Know you are staying busy during this season. You can always catch even more of Matt on the Ion College Basketball Podcast along with Gary Parrish. They have you covered every step of the way. Even though we've already crowned a champion, the news and the cycle continues 24-7. So make sure you tap in, like, follow, and subscribe to Ion College Basketball.